Hello YouTube, this is Pet Tech, and welcome to my first video of 2012. I had an interesting time this time uh, as I went and toured the tanks with my video camera. Uh, most of the tanks have Anubis, and they're all blooming for some reason. So uh, it was really cool that they're all blooming at the same time, and I got a shot of a a couple of good shots of the different tanks with their Anubis going and stuff. Oh, the one in the spec just grew right out of the top. and uh, I was really happy. That was pretty cool. It was a really neat thing to see. This go around was pretty fun. Um, as I went and toured all my tanks with the video camera to kind of check and see how they're doing. Uh, I really like to videotape things. I can see pretty well, but my eyes aren't what they used to be. So I like to videotape uh, the aquarium life and then throw it up on the big screen TV and, and really get a good look at uh, some of the shrimp especially. Uh, that's always a fun way to look, especially if you're counting eggs. A lot of people don't think of that, but if you take a really good picture, you can sit with a marker and count out the eggs. Let's say if you have an angelfish and you're just curious about how many eggs are fertile. Uh, that's another neat trick. And so here we have the 12 gallon tank. Not a lot's changed to the, except for the Anubis in there and uh, it's a little bit past its prime but it still looks really pretty. They'll last for a few weeks. Also what's new with this aquarium, uh, I've added a new species. It's the crystal shrimp. That's the white and red shrimp you'll see creeping around in the background. There'll be some better shots later on. Uh, it gets along really well with the cherry red shrimp. And there's a nice shot of my uh, bristlenose placo. Uh, these things only get to about four inches long, so they're great for these smaller aquariums. It's a lot of fun to watch the shrimp kind of, uh, as soon as they bloom, they usually swarm upon that, that bloom and they'll take all the pollen off there. The shrimp are always a lot of fun to watch. Uh, they have a lot of interesting behaviors and uh, especially when you get real up close, it's kind of fun to watch their little antics. The crystal shrimp are beautiful, and although the ones I have aren't perfect as far as they, uh, however it is that they rank them, it's really, uh, it's really a colorful addition to the aquarium. A lot of fun. This shot, you can see just how small the really young shrimp are, and that's not even the smallest one I've seen. That's the 12 gallon. My aquarium at work is a fluval flora. And we had to rearrange our offices. So I took the water down in the fluval and I put it up on a shelf, uh, kind of away from the construction so it wouldn't get damaged. Uh, I put most of the water back in, but I didn't fill it all the way up. What I noticed after I drained the water and then I went to move it is the background popped out. Here it is, and uh, I guess it was just attached with some, some sort of silicon, uh, just sort of glued on the back with that, you know, probably just aquarium sealant, and I could have replaced it, but the thing is the, uh, the substrate seemed to just kind of flow into where uh, this was, because it went all the way to the bottom, so of course, you know, after it just popped out and it did just like a cooler lid popping out of the water it popped out and all the substrate went and filled in so uh, without really tearing it apart it wasn't an option to uh, repair that so uh, I actually kind of enjoy having that extra space I mean really that's that's a pretty thick piece of foam uh, I probably increased the volume of water in my <laughs> aquarium by a significant amount especially in such a small aquarium so, I left it out, and uh, as you can see, the plants are growing, and uh, it's great. Oh, the other great thing is, with that out, I can put my filter directly on the back and then hide it with the plants. That was really important, and so uh, I'm actually happy it came out. The Fluval Flora is still an awesome aquarium. It's, uh, it's been great. Uh, the CO2 really made a difference. 
I ran on the same bottle of CO2 for a long, long time before I discovered that um, I don't think it was really giving out. I mean, they give out a lot sooner than you'd think, uh, even before you know it, it stopped filling up the tube. Uh, the plant growth was kind of dwindling. It, it just didn't seem to grow like it did. I used to have to trim it uh, every week or those plants would just grow right out of the tank. But uh, it, it got slower and slower even though it was still filling up. And then uh, I went eventually it stopped doing it all together and I replaced it and started filling up the, the uh, little reservoir the way I always do. And the plant growth just took off. So. Uh, after you go for probably at least, I mean, I don't know if you, I do it every day, uh, every weekday, uh, in the weekends, of course I'm not at work, so I don't fill it up those two days, but five days a week I fill up the reservoir and the plant growth is just phenomenal. Uh, the other thing that I didn't like about the background is it was just sort of an algae magnet, it was crazy. Now, uh, the glass background might do it as well, but this really was hard to clean. I mean, when you go to pick it off, it's styrofoam. And even though it's gray underneath, so it doesn't leave little white spots, it was still kind of a pain. And uh, although it was really cool when I first set it up, uh, I think I'm happier without it. So there's that. Uh, the other fluval tank that I had uh, also has an issue with the fluval uh, spec. Uh, the little light, everything is about it's pretty much perfect, but that light it seems like one or two or three LEDs just started going out and then now uh, here's a shot of it you can see it's just kind of flickering off and on and uh, eventually all those lights will die uh, the thing is I really I did not keep my uh, warranty card or send in anything uh, I don't even have my receipt uh, it was a while ago I kind of threw it uh, open to make this video and like a dummy I didn't keep any of those things so uh, I'm not going to ask Fluval for a warranty repair. Uh, that's my own fault. And uh, I wish I kept it. So my advice to you, if you're going to pick it up, keep your receipt. Uh, they may have worked the problems out with the LEDs by now, but if they haven't, then uh, it's worth keeping it just in case. Uh, truly, it is a good uh, aquarium light, though, when it's functioning properly. And I'd like to show you uh, how much growth I've had. Uh, first, here's the beginning. And then now... You can see how much growth there is. You can also see how much dimmer uh, it is inside, but those Anubis really love it in there. It's perfect for those things. The Anubis Nana are the plants that I used primarily in that aquarium. Since there hasn't been a great deal of changes with the 55, and you see it a lot behind me, uh, I'm going to keep this update short. I mainly want to show you this Anubis that decided to bloom. Uh, the Anubis Nana, I believe this one is, uh, their blooms are pretty small. The larger Anubis to the left, when it blooms, is really enormous. The other thing that's cool about the 55 is I usually uh, I like to leave one side open so I can look through long ways. You see some really amazing sights, and uh, it's a lot of fun. Still my favorite tank. The 56 gallon's doing well. Uh, the plant on the left I've had to trim back several times and it's just kind of growing back again. I also added this uh, device in the back to push the water around. It's done a really good job of kind of just giving a little bit extra flow inside the aquarium. The plants on the bottom have uh, started to really pick up and take off. And of course the crypt, which I already know will eventually take over the bottom of the tank there. Uh, has come back really well. This Anubis is growing like crazy. Uh, nothing blooming in there yet. Another shot long ways. All the fish seem to be doing really well. I've added yet another bristlenose catfish. This one I had I had to get a, at an adult size so that the bush fish wouldn't eat it, but uh, he's pretty nice. A lot of fun to see. And that's the 56 gallon.